And the winner is... What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. Racing goggles. And scarves. We can be race car drivers. Racy to it. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and raced off to the starting line of the Speedster 500. Look, our race car. I'll be the driver. And I'll be the navigator. Here's the race map with the directions. So who are we racing against? <laughs> Good luck to you, too. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna win? We'll see about that. Racers, seat belts on. Funny, where are the ducks? Oh, they're back in the woods, stuck in the mud. They are? How do you know? Because we passed them. They were stuck, and you didn't stop to see if they needed help? We couldn't. We wanted to win. Some winners. Yeah, more like losers. Let's make sure the ducks are okay. Come on! But we won. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the trophy for? For winning the race. You won? Then why do you look so sad? Because everyone called us losers. Why? They're mad we didn't stop and help the ducks. But we had to keep going so we could win. And are the ducks okay? We don't know. They never got here. Oh, now I understand. We cared more about winning than making sure that our friends were okay. Yeah. And you aren't a real winner if someone else has to get hurt for you to win. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll remember that winning isn't everything. Especially if you have friends that need your help. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their racing adventure all over again. But this time, they remembered that even though they wanted to win, real winners make sure everyone who is playing is safe. We're catching up to them, Kate. We can win this. Look, the ducks got stuck in the mud. Let's make sure they're OK. Hang on. We can help you. I know what to do. We have a winner! Wait, if you all cross the finish line together, who's the winner? The winner is... Friendship! The cheat is on. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Kate? <laughs> Kate? 
Pete, where are you? Ah, <laughs> you couldn't find me. Hey, why don't we go play hide and seek with the ducks? That sounds like fun. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kitty and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to Hiding Place Park. It was just the perfect place to play hide and seek. Hey, where are the ducks? Ha, very funny. But you won't hide from me next time. We'll see about that. Okay, Kit, cover your eyes and count to ten, and we'll hide. Right, no peeking. That's the rule. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm. I see you, Kate. And you. And you. And you. How did you find us so fast? Are you peeking? No, I'm just really good. Can I be in again? That was fun. Well, okay. But you won't find us this time. But it didn't matter how well Kate and the One, ducks hid, two, because Kit three, peeked four, again and five, saw exactly six, where they were hiding. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I see you under the blanket. There, in the fountain. Hey! Up the tree. And behind the pole. I win! Let's play again! Hey, what's going on? Where are you going? We don't want to play anymore. It's no fun. That's because I keep winning. That's not why. Yes, it is. You're sore loser. We are not. Are two. Are not. Are two. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hey, uh, what's wrong here? It's still my turn, but they won't play with me. Really? And why won't you play with him? It's no fun. No matter where we hide, he finds us right away. How do you do that? Easy. I'm a great player. And you're not peeking at all. Well, maybe a little. And what do the rules say about peeking? That it's cheating. Hmm. Then why do you do it? Because then I can win, and winning's fun. But me and the ducks weren't having fun. How come? Because when he cheats, there's no way we can ever win. Oh, now I understand. You might not always win if you play by the rules, but if you do, it's a lot more fun for everyone. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, I promise to play fair and square. No cheating. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their hide-and-seek adventure all over again. But this time when Kit was it... One, two, three... He followed the four, rules and five, didn't peek. Six, Not even seven, one little bit. Eight, nine, ten! Ready or not, here I come! Now, where are you? I found you, Quick! Hey, I see you, Quack! And you too, Quick! Now, where is Kate? Hmm. She's not here. Or here. I give up, Kate. Come on out. Here I am. I win, Kit. That means I'm in. Okay, but you won't find me. <laughs> we'll see about that. One, two... Kit, Kate, and the ducks played hide-and-seek all day long. And even though he didn't always win, Kit felt like a winner, knowing everyone was having a good time. Ready or not, here I come! The Great Race. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, racing caps. Let's be scooter racers. Yeah, we'll enter the great scooter race down Willy Nilly Hill. We can race against the ducks. And I'm going to win. No way, Kit, I am. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate could feel the excitement as they arrived at Willy Nilly Hill. Look at this hill. I'm going to go so fast. And I'm going to go faster. Hi, ducks. See you 
at the starting line. One scooter kit, please. And one for me, too. Here you go. Now take your boxes to the starting line and put your scooters together. When I fire the starting gun, the race begins. And I'm going to win it. No, I am. <coughs> it looks like putting these scooters together is easy. Kit and Kate emptied their boxes and began putting together the parts of their scooters. OK, one running board, one handlebar, and one wheel? But I need two wheels. Kate was having trouble, too. Hey, my scooter doesn't have a handlebar. Hmm, Kit's has a handlebar. Hey, Kit, can I have your handlebar? OK, but only if you'll trade me one of your wheels. Mmm, deal. All scooters to the starting line, now. Now I'm ready. I got two wheels. Oh, but no handlebar. Great, now I have a handlebar. But only one wheel. Kit, I need my wheel back. And I need my handlebar. Trade? OK. Now I'm ready. Me too. Racers, on your mark. Get set, go. Kate, I need my wheel. Give it back to me. Well, I need my handlebar. I asked first. No, I did. Did not. Did too. We have a winner. A winner? We didn't even start yet. If you had just given me your handlebars. If you had just given me a wheel. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kids? I lost the race. Lost it? We didn't even start it. How come? There weren't enough scooter parts. Not enough parts? Oh. Well, how many wheels does a scooter need to work? Two. And how many wheels do you have all together? Well, I have one, and Kate has two. That's one, two, three all together. And how many handlebars does a scooter need? Just one. Here. Interesting. Hey, wait! I get it! There were enough parts for the scooter. We just needed to think about working together instead of working by ourselves. Like the ducks. Then we could have had a scooter. And a lot more fun. We get it. Thanks, Dad! How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back and try again. Yeah, but this time we'll be a team. Now we know, so we go. Kit and Kate set off again for the race, but this time they thought about how they could win by working together. Two scooter kits, please. Here you go. And who's going to win? We are! This is the coolest scooter ever. And the best team ever. All scooters to the starting line. Racers, on your mark. Get set, go! Kit and Kate raced off together down Willy Nilly Hill. And working together, they had the greatest great race ever. Yay! Snow Lie. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Hey, Kit, what's that? It's a compass. It tells you which way is north. You mean we could use it to go to the North Pole? Great idea! We can fly there with the ducks in a hot air balloon. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate headed straight to their beautiful balloon and thought about what they could do when they got to the North Pole. Maybe we could build a big snowman when we get there. Sure, that'll be fun. Here, Kate, keep the compass safe. I'll go and get the ducks. This is so cool. It doesn't matter which way I turn. The needle keeps pointing north. But Kate wasn't the only one fascinated by the compass. Hey, what's that? Ah! Oh, no. Kit's going to be so angry with me. I better not tell him. We're all here, Kate. 
Everybody, climb on in! North we go to play in the snow! Now what do I do? Okay, Kate, which way's north? Uh, that way. No, no, I mean that way. Well, which way is it? Just read the compass. Where is the compass? Uh, there was a scary mouse, see? And he stole it from me. A little mouse took that big compass? No, this mouse was big. Really, really big. We have to get that compass back, Kate. Which way did he go? Oh, no. He didn't run off. The mouse was huge. He ate it. Kate, you scared off the ducks. Kate, which way should we go? I don't know, but definitely not this way. This is terrible. No compass and no balloon. Now we'll never get to the North Pole. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's happened to your balloon, kitties? We were on our way to the North Pole, but we ended up here instead. How come? Because Kate lost our compass and then started making up big lies. Why did you lie? Because I couldn't find it, and I didn't want Kit to be angry with me. Well, did lying help you find it? No. I understand. If I had just told Kit the truth, he could have helped me look for it. Yeah, at least that way there's a chance we could have found it. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kit. Let's try again. But this time, if something bad happens, I'll tell you the truth right away. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate got ready for their balloon adventure all over again. But this time... Hey, what's that? Oh, no. You won't scare me this time, Mr. Mouse. Hey, what's that? Ah! Well, Kit might get angry, but I'm going to tell him the truth this time. I'm very sorry, Kit, but I got scared by a little mouse, and I dropped the compass in the pond. Can you help me look for it? Sure, Kate, but we have a problem. That water's too deep for us. You mean you'll go look for it? Thanks! Yay, you found it! Thanks, ducks. I'm sure glad I told the truth this time. Me too. All aboard? North we go to play in the snow! And Kit, Kate, and the ducks flew straight to the North Pole, where they finally got that chance to build a great, big snow mouse. All fired up. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, firemen hats and coats. Let's be firemen. In Dragonville. Yeah, and we'll do what real firemen do. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the Fireman's Training Center in downtown Dragonville. So what do real firemen do? Well, first, firemen have to train so they'll be strong. Okay, let's see how fast we can go up and down these ladders. Great idea. Three times. Ready? Go. That's once. That's twice. That's three times! <laughs> <laughs> now, let's be like real firemen and put out a fire! Go get the hose! How do you turn this on? Try pulling on that handle. Like this? <laughs> yeah, like that. Come on! Kid and Kate went out in search of a fire that they could put out like real firemen. There's nothing here for us real firemen to do. Nothing here either. How are we going to be like real firemen without a fire to put out? Hi, what are you doing? We're firemen. And we're looking for a fire to put out. Awesome. Hey, 
Why don't you start a fire for us? No. My mom says I should never play with fire. It's dangerous. Don't worry. We'll put it out with this hose. Are you sure? No problem. <gasps> wow, a real fire. OK, Kit, put it out. Got it. Kit, over there. I got it. we done? Then along came a mysterious stranger. Do you kitties know how this fire got started? We asked the dragon to start it because we thought it would be easy to put out. But it spread so fast. You started it on purpose? Well, we wanted to put out a fire, like real firemen. But putting out fires is only one thing firemen do. Firemen do lots of other things. Like what? Well, firemen are always on the lookout for fireworks, or matches, or lighters. Because if a kid plays with them, he could start a fire. Right. And firemen teach kids to play safe and stay away from hot things, like the stove. So they won't burn themselves by accident, right? Exactly. Now you're thinking like real firemen. We are? I get it. A fireman's job isn't just putting out fires. It's making sure fires don't get started in the first place. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. Only this time, we'll be like real firemen. And try to make sure a fire doesn't start in the first place. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their fireman adventure all over again. But this time, when they finished their training... Look, Kit, fireworks! Don't touch them! Right! I'll go tell a grown-up right away! Hey, don't play near that hot stove! It's dangerous! Sorry. Thank you for spotting these fireworks. A kid really could have gotten hurt. No problem. That's what real firemen do. Right. Hey, we're having a campfire tonight. Would you two firemen like to join us? Sure. Kid and Kate had a wonderful time at the Dragon Family Cookout. And when it was all over, Kit even got to help put out the fire, just like a real fireman. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hair and share alike. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a hairbrush. And a comb. We can make pretty hairdos. For poodles. In Poodleville. Yeah. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran down the fanciest street in Poodleville, straight to their very own hair salon. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah. I can't wait for our first customer. You mean Custy Mills. Woofy and Puffy Poodle. Wow. We are competing tonight in the Wolfminster Dog Show. And we need chic new hairdos. What style? Amazing. amazing. Then amazing it is. Have a seat. Let's get started, Miss Puffy. Kit. If we do a good job, everyone will come to our salon. Yeah, and I'm going to make Woofy just wow. Now, let's see. I'll need curlers, this gel, ribbon, sparkles, and this fur dye. That's everything. OK, Woofy, a few curlers ought to do the trick. Ooh, is it curlers? Voila! Now gel. Ooh, curlers. Great idea. No, Kate, those are mine. I took them off the shelf. But you're not using all of them. Doesn't matter. They're mine. Fine. Hmm. Some ribbon would be nice. Yes, ribbon divine. No, Kate, that's my ribbon. But there's plenty for both of us. But it's my ribbon. Then this is going to be my fur color. Hey, give it back, or Wolfie won't be beautiful. Uh, the nerve. Uh, outrageous. Uh, hey, let go. You let go. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Is not. Is too. Let, let it go. go. 
Désastre You'll never style in this town again Wow, they're the worst hairdos I ever seen What did we do? Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were supposed to make the poodles amazing hairdos, but all we made was an amazing mess. How'd that happen? Kate grabbed the fur color, and it spilled everywhere. Why did you grab it? Because Kit wouldn't share it. He wouldn't share anything. Because it was mine. Yours? Did you bring everything from home? No, I got everything from the shelf. But aren't those things for everyone to use? Yeah, but I needed them. So did I. And what would have happened if you'd shared? Well, I guess Kate wouldn't have gotten mad, and then the fur color wouldn't have spilled, and the poodles wouldn't have run away. Hey, I understand. If you share, then everyone gets a chance to do what they want to do. Said with style. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll share all the supplies, no matter who gets them first. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their poodle styling adventure all over again. But this time... Kate, try these curlers. I've got plenty. Thanks! Here, try putting mousse on the curlers. Wow! And here's some ribbon for a bow. Now, let's give them each a touch of color. Show me how. Like this. Voila! Très magnifique! With these doggy doos, we are sure to win the dog show. How about one for the cat? Smile pretty! Simply stunning! Who did your hair? Kit and Kate, of course! We'd never use anyone else. Thanks to Kit and Kate, Woofy and Puffy won first prize at the dog show. And that's nothing to bark at. We did it! We did it! Woohoo! Good enough. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a mummy. And a shovel. Let's be archaeologists and uncover ancient treasures. Yeah, and maybe we can find that mummy's daddy. <laughs> Go, go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate ran across the desert to the ancient pyramid of King Cat. <gasps> it sure is hot. Not for them. Come on, let's go. We're archaeologists, remember? Wow, look at all this stuff. Look, Kit, I'm an ancient Egyptian. But can you walk like one? Do, 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 <laughs> Kittens, hurry, I've made the discovery of a lifetime. We're right behind you. Do, 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 do. Here it is, the ancient statue of King Cat. That's a statue? Well, it will be as soon as you put it all together. Then it will look like this. Oh, that'll be easy. We're really good at puzzles. Perfect, because we have to present it tonight at the museum. Good luck. And as soon as you're done, you can go swimming. Thanks. Ready, Kate? Here's a leg. Glue it to the base. Are you sure this goes here? It's good enough. Let's just finish real quick so we can go swimming. OK. Here's another piece. Is this an ear or the nose? Just make it the nose. You see? That's good enough. Kid and Kate worked as quickly as they could, and soon they were all finished. Well, sort of. Done! Now, let's go swimming. It looks funny. It's good enough. Just cover it up. But there's still pieces left. Kate, we said we'd put it together. And we put it together, right? That means it's time for swimming. Come on! Aww. Hey, Kit, wait for me! The kitten spent the rest of the day swimming with the ducks until it was time for them to go and present the statue at the museum party. 
It is with great honor that we present King Cat. What? Maybe we should have put the tail over here. That was a priceless treasure. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, no. We ruined everything. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Wow, what happened? We were supposed to put this ancient statue together, but we did it all wrong. Why? Was it too hard? No, but I was in a rush to finish. How come? Because once we were done, we could go swimming. So I just did everything really fast, because I thought it would be good enough. And was it good enough? No, it's ruined. Hey, I understand. Good enough isn't really good enough if you're not trying your best. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll try our best and make sure we do it right. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their archaeological adventure all over again. But this time... Take your time, Kate. We'll get it. They didn't rush. I got it! It was upside down! And tried their best until they were done. And when the director uncovered the statue, the kittens didn't just feel good, they felt great. Great job, kittens! How about that swim? Last one in is a rotten egg! Look out! <laughs> Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>